And we're back. Jay Widener is with us. Jay is a documentary film producer. He is a truly gifted research journalist and a very wise observer of the big picture. Welcome back, Jay. Yeah, it's good to be here. How are you? I'm I'm good, uh, you know, considering yeah. how the world is. is like, and I guess if you treat your uh, body right, then no matter how bad the world gets, you'll be all right. So You are what you eat, but now that's been amended. There's a second part to it. You are what you think, and therein lies the key to the mass control of the world. That's right. They are definitely controlling what we think. They're controlling how we think. Even the people who think that they're rebels are actually being controlled. You know, recently, uh, an astonishing thing happened. Uh, Fidel Castro gave an interview in which he had read Danny Estillon's book on the Bilderbergers and was actually telling us that he didn't know that the Bilderbergers had been in charge of the world for the last 50 years, which coming from a guy who's the ruler in those 50 years, it shows that either the rebels really don't know what's going on or they're being controlled from the top and the whole thing's a fake out. The thing by Lenin, you have to create your opposition in order to control it. And I just, you know, I wonder if he wasn't created uh, among a lot of other people like like Jim Jones and uh, maybe possibly even the guy in uh, Waco. Now, are these, who were these guys? Who were they really? Were they really rebels, or were they... Planned? Well, then let's, let's, uh, let's go to the uh, so-called mass media. Uh, Glenn Beck, is oh, he really God. a rebel? Uh, no. th- as we all know, the Tea Party started out, I th- in my view, as a, a legitimate spark of resistance and was quickly penetrated and co-opted. Now, that was, that's no mystery. But, but the whole panorama is perverted, uh, corrupted, convoluted, and they're all in it bidding uh, to try to win the loyalty of, uh, of X numbers of followers. It, it's, we call these flypaper operations. And Glenn Beck is a perfect example, um, really trying to push this rebel without doing anything line, which is very convenient. He's really one of the worst, and the way he's treated the 911 victims' families and the whole 911 truth movement, it's, it's just bloody disgusting. But the media is, is, is so frighteningly controlled by someone, the powers that be, the controllers, that they can literally, across the board from AP to Newsweek to Keith Olbermann to the New York Times, have a spin which they all repeat. It's just criminal. And the whole thing is a, a criminal enterprise run by madmen who only care about money because the class that's in power is the merchant class. And the merchant class only cares, only sees the world as a commodity. It doesn't see the world as anything else. Forests are no longer places where the oxygen is being produced and wildlife. They're just bored feet. And uh, oceans are not places where the sea life and diversity can exist. It's just the amount of fish you can get out of there to sell to people. And this is the disease that we're in right now. And this disease will go like a cancer until it eats itself alive. And unfortunately, I don't see any way out outside of a gigantic spiritual revolution, which I've been trying to foment, but I don't think... You know, I just don't know if people are, are smart enough to even do that at this point. And, uh, you know, we don't know what's going on. There's all sorts of people who are fighting the system in a real way who are getting sick and things. And I think we're going to be in a dictatorship soon. And, uh, and I don't know how long that, you know, will you and I will even have a voice to uh, raise in protest. I'm not condemning people. I, they are basically in the hands of evil that has technology undreamed of by most people. And it starts at the very simple, basic, rudimentary level of the government schools inculcating four- and five-year-olds with with more crap after they've already been brainwashed for, for three or four years with commercial television and commercial products of all kinds. So by the time they're 16, 25, 30, what's left? Hang on, be right back with Jay.